How you doing, MCAS? This is Dee from the marketing department aboard MCAS Yuma here. Um, I'm standing here right now with um, the Dos Rios manager, CC Viscarando, and she's going to talk to us a little bit today about some of the things that go on in her program, um, the facility, how it runs, plans for the future of it, and things like that. So let's sit down with CC and have a go around with her about what's happening at Dos Rios. FI-12 Hospitality Award that we did win um, all across all the TLFs um, aboard MCAS and we came in top four comparable to Camp Pendleton, Miramar, Lejeune, so it was all of the TLFs for our hospitality, customer service, for our net sales. It just basically depends on different categories. Um, for here and um, Lake Martinez, we've had done um, quite a bit of upgrades within the Lake Martinez. We renovated the cabins with new beds, new sofa furniture, upgraded um, the kids' playground area. We're working on right now the breakfast bar, continue to upgrade the breakfast bar, tables, and working on our renovations for our upcoming, probably FY16, of the new add-on for the building. Our breakfast bar opened um, a year ago, September. And it's been doing pretty good, but we're still trying to hear what our customers are saying, what they're wanting, and trying to help them, you know, get what they like to see here. And then here recently, we just had the whole lobby area repainted um, to match, just to kind of give it a fresher look, a fresh coat. So you're looking at a two-tier season. During our summer months are basically our slow months. So that's during the time we can do our upgrades and our renovations. Now, from September to probably about November timeframe, that's when we get into our busy, busy season with WTI because it's more towards the fall and winter. Um, the Dos Rios is more or less available for military personnel, um, for any individual that works a bit aboard MCAS Yuma, our DOD contractors, the civilians that work here. Um, but we like to cater to everybody if we can. We do get a lot of retirees, a lot of DOD contractors, um, and they, a lot of DOD that work on the base as well. Um, just for leisure, we do get them, um, we call them the winter visitors that come in for longevity, anywhere from 30 to about 120 days. So they, this is like their second home. The Tier 2 program is where we have our summers that, we, of course, we want to get the business here, which we go 10% off of the rack rate. Um, we try to keep up with competitive with our civilian industry. Now with the civilian industry, we do have things that they don't offer and we, they offer things that we don't have. You know, you have the pool within the bigger facilities, you have more or less a franchise. We're a small franchise regarding the ends of the core. Um, but the rates are pretty comparable. We're tax free, comparable to the civilian industry. Um, we don't add extra person charge, comparable to the civilian industry. So we have a lot of benefits that we can accommodate, um, comparable to the civilian side of it. we offer is we offer a standard king um, and then we offer a two queen kitchenette and then we do have conjoining rooms as well. For the future for anywhere from FY15 FY16 we're looking at bringing on 24 more rooms plus the whole facility being renovated we're adding um, extra lobby space for the breakfast bar we're adding you know just different things that we need in the facility like an internet um, section um, more, more just more space for everybody. Hi, I'm Cece Vizcarrondo. I am the general manager here for the Dos Rios and the Lake Martinez aboard MCAS Yuma.